Okay, we've got some more small parts play. You know all those toilet paper rolls that you're going to have at the end of this period of time? Save them, save them, save them. You can put them in all of your texture experiences. You can scoop them in sand. You can put them in dirt. You can put them if you're putting out baby oatmeal or Cheerios or anything like that. They are very good for peekaboo, for souls, doo -doo. but then we can do these really great ways of figuring out how something goes through something else. Now, you know, you can't see through that one. You can see through this one, but you can't see through this one. But if I put one more in, pop, pop, out comes another one. Ready, set, pop, pop. I need another one in, pop, pop, pop. So we love the giant pom-poms. We don't wanna give your children chokeables, so we want you to be aware and we want you to supervise, but you can buy big bags of these and let them play. But what else can you put to go as, again, small parts play, babies and toddlers? We love ping pong balls and they're a little bit harder and a whole different experience than putting in the pom poms. You can also do beads. You know we love beads. We, you've seen children in our classes post pictures where, they, of course, they wear them, but we've seen them put them between their toes. You can also see if they can put the beads through those toilet paper rolls. And the hardest thing of all that really only seems to happen as they're approaching two is to figure out how to get the bead into the bottle. And I promise you, the first few times you do this, they're gonna need some help because there's all kinds of fit laws of physics happening in here. And then push them in and it's really nice and noisy. And you know, I don't have it close by, but we also have a cone with a hole in top that we got from Home Depot. Oh, you can also put pom-poms through, scarves through. So scarf play is also fun. And then you can use these for dancing with us. Last but not least, I want to show you my hat magic trick because right now the balls are in the hat. So we would say to the children, where are the balls? <gasps> are they in my hat? Do you think they are? Let's say, come out balls. One, two, three, come out balls. And you've got magic, abracadabra. Keep playing.